Sing all ye nations to our God, sing with a joyful noise, with melody of sound record, God's honors and your joys. Good morning, welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me. This is morning prayer for Saturday, April the 20th, and the scripture for this service, Psalms 30 and 32, and Daniel chapter 6, verse 16 to 28. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, I exalt you, my God, for you have lifted me up. Alleluia. Psalms 30 and 32. Alleluia. I exalt you, my God, for you have lifted me up and have not let my foes rejoice over me. O Most High, my God, I cried to you, and you have healed me. My God, you have brought me up from the grave, and you have kept me alive, that I should not go down into the pit. Sing to the Most High, O you saints, and give thanks for God's holiness. For God's anger lasts but a moment, and God's favor is for a lifetime. Sorrows may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning, and in my prosperity, I said, I shall never be moved. God, by your favor, you have made me strong as a mountain. Then you hid your face, I was troubled. I cried to you, O God, and to you I made my prayer. What profit is there in my blood when I go down into the pit? Will the dust praise you? Will it declare your truth? My God, hear me and have mercy upon me. My God, be my helper. You have turned my mourning into dancing, and you have put off my sackcloth and clothed me with gladness. And therefore I sing praise to your glory, and I am not silent, my Most High God. I thank you forever. Blessed are they whose transgressions are forgiven and whose sins are covered. Blessed are they in whom the Most High imputes no guilt and in whose spirit there is no guile. When I kept silence, my bones withered away through my groaning all the day long. For day and night your hand was heavy upon me. My moisture is turned into the draught of summer. I acknowledge my sin to you, and my iniquity I did not hide. I said, I will confess my transgressions, and you forgave the iniquity of my sin. For this shall the faithful pray to you in a time of distress. In the time of flood, the great waters shall not come near them. You are my hiding place. You shall preserve me from trouble. You shall surround me with songs of deliverance. I will instruct you and teach you the way which you shall go. I will guide you with my eye. Be not as the horse or mule, which have no understanding, whose mouths must be held with bit and bridle, lest they come near you. Many sorrows shall be to the wicked, but mercy shall surround them that trust in you. Be glad in our God and rejoice, all you righteous, and shout for joy, all you that are upright of heart. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. I exalt you, my God, for you have lifted me up. Alleluia. The lesson is from the prophet Daniel, chapter 6, beginning at verse 16. Daniel in the lion den. Then the king gave the command, and Daniel was brought and thrown into the den of lions. And the king said to Daniel, May your God, whom you faithfully serve, deliver you. A stone was brought and laid on the mouth of the den, and the king sealed it with his own signet and with the signet of his lords, so that nothing might be changed concerning Daniel. 
And then the king went to his palace and spent the night fasting. No food was brought to him, and sleep fled from him. Then at the break of day, the king got up and hurried to the den of lions. And when he came near the den there where Daniel was, he cried out anxiously to Daniel, O oh, Daniel, servant of the living God, has your God, whom you faithfully serve, been able to deliver you from the lions? And Daniel then said to the king, O oh, king, live forever. My God sent his angel and shut the lions' mouths so that they would not hurt me, because I was found blameless before him. And also before you, O oh, king, I have done no wrong. Then the king was exceedingly glad and commanded that Daniel be taken up out of the den. So Daniel was taken out of the den, and no kind of harm was found on him, because he had trusted in his God. The king gave a command, and those who had accused Daniel were brought and thrown into the den of lions, they, their children, and their wives. And before they reached the bottom of the den, the lions overpowered them and broke all their bones to pieces. And then King Darius wrote to all peoples and nations of every language throughout the whole world, May you have abundant prosperity. I make a decree that in all my royal dominion people should tremble and fear before the God of Daniel. For he is the living God, enduring forever. His kingdom shall never be destroyed, and his dominion has no end. He delivers and rescues. He works signs and wonders in heaven and on earth, for he has saved Daniel from the power of the lions. So this Daniel prospered during the reign of Darius and the reign of Cyrus the Persian. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions for God's people throughout the world, for our church leaders, for all clergy and ministers, for this gathering and for all people, for peace in Jerusalem and in all the world, for goodwill among nations and for the well-being of all peoples and for justice and peace. For the poor, the sick, especially Melissa and Carol, for the hungry, the oppressed, those in prison, and those in any need or trouble. For the mercy of God community, and for the Sisters of St. Francis of Philadelphia, for all who seek God or a deeper knowledge of God, that they may find and be found. I ask your prayer for the departed, especially Charles, and for all who have died. Praise God for those in every generation in whom Christ has been honored, especially Francis and Claire, that we may have grace to glorify Christ in our own day. For the intentions of all who've asked our prayers and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Forgive us our sins and offenses. Guide us with your eye and teach us the way we should go. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And glory to God whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.